Good morning. What a, what a glorious journey it has been for us through the book of Genesis. And today we're going to wrap it up. Um, we see uh, Jacob and Joseph are together again. And uh, Jacob is drawing near to the end of his life in Goshen, in Egypt, and he calls Joseph to him, and he asks him to make him a promise. He says in verse, let's see, verse 29 of Genesis 47, he says, Do not bury me in Egypt. When I die, please take my body out of Egypt and bury me with my ancestors. And if you read on, Joseph fulfills that promise that he makes to his father, and he does take him back and have him buried in the land of Canaan. What a, what a word that is for us. Uh, Jacob had lived to be 147 years old, and he says, don't leave me here in Egypt. That's kind of like I say, when I die, don't leave me here on this earth. Take me to Jesus, and thank goodness we have that promise, that assurance from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If we've put our faith and trust in him, he will deliver us to our eternal home with him in heaven. What a promise. And that's what Jacob desired, not to be buried in Egypt, but in his homeland in Canaan. So just think about that a little bit. The rest of the story of Genesis goes that uh, they really prosper. Israel really prospers in Egypt, in the land of Goshen there. And uh, they, they multiply, and this becomes a real concern for Egypt. And as Joseph eventually dies off, and another Pharaoh takes over who doesn't know about what Joseph had done, and he begins to persecute the Israelites. And that's where Moses will come along in the book of Exodus and start to deliver the people as God has chosen him to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this journey in Genesis. We'll start something different tomorrow. I've enjoyed it, learned a lot. I hope you have too. God bless you and have a great day.